William Porter Lawrence grew up in Nashville, Tennessee. And ever since he was a boy, Lawrence was highly intelligent, multi-talented, and driven. It was clear he was destined for greatness, and he excelled in everything he did. He was first in his class in high school and won awards in his performance in football and basketball. He went on enrolling in the U.S. Naval Academy, where he graduated first in his class. One example of his exceptional nature was during this time at Test Pilot School, where he became the first naval aviator to fly twice the speed of sound. He was truly an exceptional child, but above all this, he cherished his homeland. He cherished all the beautiful nature and wonderful people. He'd keep these things in his heart, wherever he went. On June 1967, Lawrence was flying an airplane over North Vietnam, when suddenly he was shot from below. The plane went down, and Lawrence was captured and imprisoned in a Vietnamese prison camp. He spent six years here, of which he spent 60 days in solitary confinement. He was regularly tortured by his captures, surrounded by unimaginable leadership. But he never gave up hope. And during these years, he composed the poem, O Tennessee, My Tennessee, where he spoke about the home he longed for and hope he'd see again. He wrote it all in his head, as prisoners were not allowed pens or paper, envisioning the rolling green hills of his homeland. Eventually, the Vietnam War ended. Lawrence was released. And finally, he got to return to the place he had been imagining for so long. He was welcomed back with open arms and smiling faces. Even after everything he had been through, he stayed in the Navy, quickly climbing the ranks, until he became the superintendent of the U.S. Naval Academy. And through it all, his driven spirit never altered. Lawrence's composition is now the official state poem of Tennessee. You can hear its tone of heartwarming remembrance, but also his pain and longing to return home. It was a way to remember the place he grew up in and to give him hope in a time that seemed like all hope was lost. From it, we can take similar lessons. We can reflect on our freedom and the beautiful qualities of Tennessee. We can remember Admiral Lawrence and everything he went through. We can remember his resilience and his endurance in this poem of relentless faith, O oh, Tennessee, my Tennessee. Beauty 
and hospitality are the hallmarks of Tennessee. And o'er the world as I may roam, no place exceeds my boyhood home. And oh, how much I long to see my native land, my Tennessee.